All right, so what's up, everyone? It's The Real DJ Red again. And this is like my fifth time trying to shoot the video now. Kept having to stop over all over again. Anyway, uh, I had a question that came up in my comment section from one of my previous videos from Aku, A-K-O-O, -O, Pain. And Aku asked, how can you add sound effects to your Serato? It's very simple, but... You got to learn how to, you got to know how to do it right. Uh, first thing is, whatever hardware you're playing off of has to be plugged up to your computer. Whether you're using Serato Lite, excuse me, uh, uh, Serato DJ, Serato DJ Pro, uh, even Scratch Live. You have to have it plugged up to your hardware so that it would show up. If it's not plugged up, uh, if your computer is not plugged up to your hardware, your controller, your interface box, your uh, DJ mixer, or whatever that is Serato ready, it's not going to show up on it. Okay? Let me uh, switch over to the Serato screen real quick. And what I'm going to do is go through the entire setup for setting up effects, DJ drops for Serato. Um, as you can see, I'm playing some music up here that is uh no copyright so this video won't be getting blocked by <laughs> the host <laughs> or the uh youtube you know what i mean anyway okay so first thing you want to do once you get your drops or sound effects uh quick tip put them in one folder so let me scroll down here real quick i'm gonna go to my folder drops Drop sound effects, everything is all in one folder for that, okay? Make sure that they are analyzed. Now, in order to analyze them, you do have to unplug your hardware. Uh, the reason why you want to analyze them, you ask, uh, so that you don't have one that is blaring out louder than the other or blasting over your music, which I'll show you how to adjust all of that as well. Um once you analyze them plug your plug your hardware back up to your computer okay once you have both decks open you're going to click on the horn up here that's going to open up your banks your sample banks now you have eight sample eight samples banks available per bank okay so you can do up to 32 all together um this one here is my main one that I use. This one, uh, Bank B is usually for my Caribbean parties. Uh, bank C is for my show that I do on Thursday nights. Bank D is for another radio show that I do for another radio station on Thursday mornings, um, which is excitementradio.com. Y'all can check me out on there. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 10 a.m. Just putting in the plug real quick. Also, I'm on Mixcloud. At any random time, you can hit me up on that, The Real DJ Red, and on Twitch. All right, so back to the effects. Let me go back to the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to take this one here just for time's sake. Um, also, real quick, when you after you analyze each one, and you can do this with the hardware plugged up or unplugged. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that you have a cue point set for exactly where you want your uh, sound effects to start at, okay? Um, because when you trigger it, you want it to be triggered on time, not with a two, three second delay on it, okay? So make sure you have your cue point set for it. Once you have your cue point set, all it is is just drag and drop okay once you drop that in there go to your settings on here normally by default serato will have these on start okay so click on the drop down box click on the cue point excuse me and once you have that done you can go ahead and uh And there you go. That's how you load up your effects. 
Now, uh, a couple of other, couple of other things that you want to know about when you do that. Let me go back here to setting. If you want to take it out, you know, delete this this particular slot. Just hit the uh, the arrow on there, or the eject button rather. That's what that is. Same thing with this. You can hit the eject on that to take it out of there. Um, so let me load that back in there. And right down here, where you have, uh, like this one here is basically a start point, and you have the dots on there, okay? That one there is so that I'm able to do, I'm able to just trigger it and tap it multiple times back to back. Okay, let me, uh, let me see if I find another one that make it a little bit better, better, better. Nope, not that one. Okay, so let's use the bomb for example. Okay, um, fourth one. Okay, so I'm able to just tap that multiple times back to back, and it'll continue. Uh, you know, start from the beginning. If you change it to just one, okay. As soon as I let my finger go off that key, which that that would be the V key on the keyboard right now. It's gonna stop. It's gonna stop. Okay. Uh, and then if I change it to another one, I can turn it on and off. That's what you'll be doing with your keyboard. On, off, on. You tap it again. It's off, and it goes right back to the, to the beginning. Okay. So most of the time, I usually have it on the dotted ones to, to trigger it. Kind of like a stuttery, stutter. Okay. And that's how you load them up from there. Uh, another little thing that you might need to know, your output. Okay. Um, for If by chance uh, anyone is still using Serato SL interface or anything like that, um, you would have to select your output as to where you want it to and i'm not even you know clowning anyone that's still using it because hell i recently just uh not recently but uh a while ago i, st I still have scratch live on my computer um and there's a number of reasons why i have that on there uh, one is just in case i run into a situation where no one is not using the serato dj pro at maybe at a venue that i'm at i have to still make sure i'm able to perform so I even used this uh, DJ uh, light a couple of months ago. Was playing with another DJ, and that con that particular controller was uh, something that was set up for Serato DJ light, and um, that's what I had to use. All right, so make sure that you have these outputs set up on here. Right now, I have mine set up on main, and that's where you want it to come out of. Okay. Next thing, uh, some controllers might have a um, gain knob for the samples, okay? Let me start this over real quick. Um, it might have a gain knob for the control uh, for the sample bank. Uh, right now, I'm currently on the Pioneer DDJ SX2. Um, the SX3 has it. The SX has it. I believe the SR, SR2, the SZ, SZ2, uh, Pioneer DDJ 1000 SRT also has it. All of them have the gain knobs for um, for the sample bank. Um, you can turn up your samples up and down uh, as far as each individual one to make sure that, you know, they're kind of, uh, leveled off and not one is louder than the other or one is too low and stuff like that. So therefore, you won't have to be turning up the main sample gain on there. If you don't, if your controller or mixer do not have the gain knob on there for the sample, you can just come in here and you can turn it up yourself by holding it down with your mouse, go up, or down okay um, same thing if uh, if you ever run into a situation that you're you're hitting the samples and you don't see anything 
uh, or you don't hear anything coming on, and um, you no know, nine times out of ten, either the gain is down for the samples, that particular sample itself, or you might have to check your outputs on here, make sure that it's going to a main or to a particular assigned channel. Make sure your gain is up for the master. Um, for the main, um, I'm sorry, the main volume for the sample bank and make sure that you're not muting it over here as well as make sure that it's turned up in here to the right level and make sure you're not muting it on this one as well inside the uh, actual channel that you're playing it through. Okay, um, I believe that's about it. And if anyone else has any more questions, please feel free to comment. Um, and again, uh, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for following me. Uh, for those of you that's been following me, uh, just been subscribing, especially over these last couple of months or whatever. And I know it's been a lot going on with all of um, everything else. I'm not going to mention what it is, but uh, I know it's been a lot going on or what have you. Um, but I appreciate each and, one of, each and one of you, each and every one of you. I'm getting tongue tied here. Each and every one of you for following me, subscribing, the comments, and stuff like that. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, if you haven't hit that thumbs up, you can do that as well. I appreciate the comments. I try to respond to each and every one of them. I figured this one out doing a video. I know I haven't done a video for it, so there you go. Aku Payne, shout out to you. Thank you for the question or the comment. And I hope I answered your questions. And thank everyone for subscribing. Until then, happy holidays, guys. Peace. I'm going to see if I can get out some more videos this week. Peace.